video, I'm going to show you the third definition that you need to know how to work with in text in Illustrator. So let's go hold the um, space bar and go to the third artboard. And this time we're going to learn what leading is. So get your text tool, click right here, hold caps lock, and type the word leading. And then click your selection tool. Let's go over here. We had to put the leading on 200 on the last video. Put it on zero again so that it's just regular leading. I mean regular tracking, sorry, not leading. That was tracking. And make the size of this font 125. And let's change the color to another color. And then get your move tool and move it over here in the center. All right, now let's type what the definition of leading is. This time, instead of just clicking and letting go, we're going to do something a little different though. I want you to click and drag a text box. Do not make the text box as big as the whole page. Please make it just about this size so that it's filling up only about half the page because I want to show you how to work with the text box. So click this and then let go and you'll see that it puts the fake text inside this box. But we're going to type remove caps lock and type in the definition. Now you'll notice that uh, it's not all fitting in there. You can see on this text box there's this little red square um, on the corner. That means that not all of the text is fitting in there. So we're going to click on our selection tool, get that selected. Let's go over here and make this uh, smaller. This time I'm going to make it 70 because I still want it to be kind of big because I want there to be um, two lines, at least two lines of text. Actually, let's make it 100. Sorry. Let's make it 100 so that it doesn't all fit. I want to show you how you can make it fit. So if that happens and your text isn't fitting in that box, you can click here and drag to open the window. So it's just a window that's um, not letting you fit all the text. So let's drag our window bigger and hopefully you have three lines of text, okay? So if you don't, if you made your text box big, you can change the size of your text box. Try to make it so that you have three lines of text so that I can show you what leading is. Okay, so leading is over here, over here on the right where there's two A's stacked on top of each other. That's the um, space between lines of text. Normally, you have your leading set at least the number of your font size and maybe a little bit bigger. I want to show you what happens if you make it really small. Like if I have it 10, it's practically on top of each other. The bigger the number of leading is, the more I have space between my lines of text. All right, it only lets me go to 72 on this menu. I want you to put in 150 and then make this text box bigger like that. All right, so now we have leading and then you can space, space that out. So let's do save, and then I'll teach you another trick in the next video.